While dealing with depression, have you ever felt like things were too good to be true? Or things were going too good? And then sometimes you have those days where you're like, okay, when is the other shoe going to drop? Trust me, I've been there. And today's confession of depression is that we forget to appreciate the positives. And when I say that, it's because we forget to live in those moments. We forget to appreciate those times where we're happy and having a good time and smiling and enjoying life. Because when you suffer from depression, you sometimes can be in a really dark place for a very long time. So when you're constantly dealing with negative thoughts and dealing with the fact that you don't necessarily feel good or like yourself, you can start to not appreciate those times that were good because you're just so, so much in a negative place that you just can't, you know, get yourself to think of those times. I think that we forget that sometimes those low points in life can help you start to appreciate and help you to start striving towards creating better days. I want you to realize that nothing in life is perfect. Nobody's perfect. Nobody has a perfect life, job, family, nothing. There is nothing in life that somebody can be like, oh, my life's just perfect. And I think sometimes that when we are in our lowest places, we feel alone and we're like, oh, well, why isn't so-and-so on Instagram ever having a bad day? Or, you know, he, my best friend, he never seems to be having a good day and everything just seems to be going so well for them. And I want you to realize that not everybody is going to share their feelings or what they're going through or how they're feeling with everybody in the world. There are a lot of people who struggle and they struggle alone and by themselves and they don't want you to know. But while we're smiling... We forget to enjoy those moments in life that bring us joy. We forget to be thankful for those moments, for those people and those things that bring us joy and make our days wonderful. You could be having a horrible week and have somebody open a door for you or say good morning to you or sit down and have a conversation with you about how you're doing that can change your mood. I'm not going to lie because I'm completely always honest with you guys, this Last week, I had an emotional breakdown. I Last Tuesday, I was dealing with my arm being in pain. I went to work the next day, and I just couldn't. I knew I couldn't do it, and I came home early. One, I'm upset about my arm. Two, I'm upset about missing work because I'm already not working as many hours as I could be because of my arm. And just everything in it, it made me spiral. So I took a nap, and when Ken came home, I just... I broke down, I just told him everything, and I wasn't in a good place. And sometimes it's really good to have that person who you can connect with on those bad days, and those that person that can help lift you up because he instantly told me to get dressed, we went out, we had dinner, and we laughed and had a good time. And for that few hours of the night, I had totally forgot about having a breakdown and being sad and being upset. So I think sometimes when you're in the lowest of lows, you need to think of those moments that bring you joy. Those moments that you are happy and somebody made you happy or you did something that just was so wonderful and you were in the moment and nothing could make you upset or sad. Because I think there are a lot of times when we go and we do things, like we go to birthday parties or gatherings, and because in our minds we are so negative and so down, we forget to live in the moment while we're there. So I've always thought about this and said this, like, you're physically there, but mentally you're not there. When you're mentally not there, you're not present and you're not fully enjoying the experience like you should. And I have done that many of times where I really don't want to go, but I go anyways because I want to be there for my family. But while I'm there, I'm physically there, but mentally I'm somewhere else. And that makes us forget to really enjoy those moments, to spend time with our family like we should and make those memories and laugh like we should and just let everything else melt away. So if anything today, 
If you're having a bad day or a bad week, a bad month, or even the start of this year is not going good for you, try to appreciate those positive things throughout the last month of of January that has happened. Even if it's the smallest little things, like your kids smiling at you, somebody opening the door for you, somebody saying good morning to you, somebody just reaching out to connect with you on the internet, <sighs> cuddling with your spouse or your loved ones, cuddling with a pet, petting a pet, playing with them, spending time with them. Because everybody who suffers from depression does have that person or that thing that they do that brings them joy, that brings them happiness. And for that short period of time while doing that one thing or spending time with that one person, you are no longer thinking about what was wrong or your depression or those negative thoughts. Like in that moment, doing that thing or with that person, you're able to just be happy and have pure joy and not worry about what is going on out in the world and i think for everybody who struggles with depression or any mental health issue we need those moments we need those people in our life who see that we're down and will change our days and make us forget we need those moments that make us smile because on those days where we're at the lowest of low and we feel like we're alone and that everybody else's life is so perfect these are the moments we need to remember these are the moments we need to think about and make a smile and laugh. Even if you don't feel like it, if you sit for a moment and you think about that memory, going out with your family, a birthday party, a gathering, and it brings a smile to your face, then there's that slight moment you're not thinking about what you're going through. You're not thinking about the sadness and you're not thinking about the spiraling. You're not thinking about that mental breakdown. I do feel grateful and lucky enough to have somebody in my life who has gone through depression and sees my patterns and when I do break down and go through those things and those moments and those days that I have someone like my fiance who brings me back and reminds me of the good things and reminds me of the positives in life and makes jokes and everything just to see me smile and make me laugh too better my mood and get me and bring out the positives instead of the negatives in me so today even if you're having like i said the beginning of this year was rough maybe you're just having a bad day maybe you woke up in a weird mood maybe this week hasn't gone right i challenge you today to find one thing to appreciate one thing even if it's the smallest thing and just sitting down and sipping your coffee in the morning enjoying a good breakfast just to sit in that moment and appreciate the positives of that one thing. Because you never know if that one positive thing could shift your whole mood and your whole day and make everything better. And think about doing this for other people. You might be doing good, but somebody else might not be. So opening the door, simply saying good morning, asking how they're doing, going out of your way to do something for somebody else, to put a smile on their face, make their life easy, whatever it is, can help change their mood around and help their negative day turn into a positive. Life is full of opportunities and it's full of good and bad moments. Everybody's going to have a bad day. Everybody's going to struggle at some point. Some of us struggle more than others. We need to remember to appreciate those positive days, those positive moments, and those people in our life who simply go out of their way to make sure that we're having a good day and everything is going good. So go out today, find those positives, and simply help somebody else see the positives in life. Because again, you never know who's struggling and not everybody knows that you're struggling. But simply going out of your way or somebody else going out of their way to help you and to change a negative into a positive is so beautiful. So go out today and just appreciate the sun, the day, the people, the drive to work, coffee in the morning, your breakfast. Just find one thing today to appreciate and just for a moment or two or even five minutes, just sit and then soak in that positivity and that joy because that could be the one thing today that helps change your mood around.